Good morning. I'm assuming that Peter introed. Um, today is day one for me waking up earlier than the kids. We're kind of, we're getting back on track, especially with Teddy, like, going back to sleep. Um, and figuring out this pack and play thing. The mattress has been working great. He's still in our room. The pack and play's at the foot of our bed, but, um, he's doing a great job. So, I didn't wake up to my alarm, and then Teddy woke up and kind of took a little bit longer to get back to sleep. Um, but I made it out here. It's nice and cozy and Christmassy. I'm reading Leslie Odom Jr.'s book, Falling Up, and I have some swish and flick tea, actually, in my cute little Snow White mug. So, that's how I'm gonna start the day, and hopefully it's so enjoyable that I wake up to my alarm tomorrow. Also, this is amazing. How could, how could I not want to do this every day? It is snowing. Should I bring Teddy outside for his first snow? But did we bring him out for the snow? Or should we cry? It's almost the weekend. <laughs> James is laughing at Sarah's favorite new song from Miss Rachel. Three hungry, hungry, three hungry, three hungry ants marching in a line. Is he calling me sugar? I think he calls you sugar. But like he's been, he says dad. He doesn't say uh oh. But he's been saying sugar for a long time, and we think he has what he calls there, like sugar, 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 which is absolutely adorable. And I also am going to see Avatar tonight. It's snowing. I'm about to bring Teddy out in his first snow. <laughs> Teddy, what do you think? It's your first snow. This is snow. <laughs> what do you think? Is it chilly? It's very chilly. <laughs> You see that? Person's going inside the building. Do you like snow? I... Ooh! Let's go inside. You're a silly kid. We're just jamming out, hanging out in the, the kids' room. <gasps> you love this song? We're making some music. We got our percussion pieces out. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk. 500 more. The man who walked the hundred miles in the Oh, nice, beautiful. Beautiful, so lovely. Ah! Whoa! Yeah, Teddy! We got a chef on our hands now. Oh, watch your glove. The living room is chaos. Are you perplexed at what this is? I just put on Prep and Landing, which I never really watched, but it reminds me of Hollywood Studios in Jingle Bam, Jingle Bash, and so I started watching it more so, like the parks reminded me of it instead of this giving me the feels at the park. So I figured, I figured they might like it. Snowing. I'm at the gas station, getting gas, and I'm going to um, the Regal IMAX. They had an IMAX 3D, which is what I think you're like really supposed to see it, the new Avatar, and they also had a 4D option, but it wasn't IMAX, so I opted for the 3D IMAX versus the 4D 3D. 70? I don't know. I don't know, I'm really excited. So this was like my jam back in the day. I think Sarah even bought me like a tickets for my birthday. I think I saw it three times in theaters. Once in IMAX or maybe twice in IMAX. Um, so big Avatar fan, pretty pumped about this new one. Long time coming. Here we are, parked in the parking garage. Can't wait, gonna get some popcorn. 
All right, so we got the IMAX, and you got the Pepsi freestyle machines here. This is the most absurdly large Pepsi I've ever purchased in my entire life, I think. Here we go. I have not seen an IMAX in forever. Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, December 2nd through January 2nd. Guys, it is Christmas crunch time. We lost a lot of December with this sicky bug running through us and <laughs> running through us again or whatever, whatever happened to Peter. Um, yeah, we're kind of like feeling the need to pick it up a notch on getting Christmassy stuff done. It's like two weeks away. Um, but anyways, we do have some fun stuff like already planned that are like fingers are crossed that everything's gonna work out. So we're gonna have a Christmas movie on tonight. Obviously we're still like, I would say today and tomorrow, we're just gonna make sure we are 100%. Um, and then be cautiously Christmas crazy because we don't wanna get sick. But we wanna we wanna soak it all up. We had to cancel um, holiday tea at the Drake for Peter's birthday. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make it to Zoo Lights. We kind of need to. That's that's what we need to be held accountable for. It's laying out what we want to prioritize so that we make it happen. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma. Da 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 da. That is such an infectious laugh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. Daddy wanna eat you. beautiful night in this wintry Chicago. That place looks cool. It's called Jokers. Wow, wow. Wow. There's a lot that I loved about it. There was like everything I loved about it. There was a few things that I, that I hated. I hated. Um, if I was a younger man and I didn't, didn't have two little kids, I would uh, probably see that a few more times in theaters. Oh, but can't always expense four hours um, away from the kids. But I can't wait till Sarah sees it. I can't talk about any of this till she sees it with her. And then maybe after uh, some kind of set amount of time, um, we'll talk about what we like and didn't like in the movie theater, like in the movie at some point. So um, I'm gonna get home, it's 11 o'clock. Sarah says both the boys are asleep and she's just relaxing, which I'm very happy about, but beautiful. I didn't feel like, it, it was long, it was three hours, but it didn't feel long because I was like immersed in the, the story the whole time. Wow. But yeah, I'd see that a bunch more times. Teddy just woke up, so Sarah's going in there to console him and I'm just gonna sign off so we can go to bed. Um, we have a busy day tomorrow. Uh, we have like a doctor's appointment, I have work. Um, we need to run some errands and then Sarah's going to see Avatar tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, Avatar was great. I wanna see it again. I'm assuming it's going to be on Disney Plus to stream eventually. Can't wait to talk to you guys about it. And so far, Sarah and I have not talked about it. So I think we're doing it. I didn't even tell her like my opinion. She was just like, well, did you like it? And I was like, yes. That's all I gave her. So it's good to be home. Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I think Peter's just coming out of a meeting. It's snowing. We need a Christmas movie on a stack. What Christmas movie? Uh, We're just playing. Just starting our Friday off playing. Like We're going Christmas. out for Peter's birthday tonight for dinner. Um, and we, we actually, we had a good morning. 
Is, is Miss Rachel talking too loud? Let me put it out here. <laughs> so Miss Rachel is in our only child's speech therapist. <laughs> Open. Open. Um, so James is like at kind of a, a funky age where like his doctor was like, you could wait to see if he explodes with his um, speech. Or you could get like early intervention and whatnot. So we like got more information today and it was like, yeah. Oh, he, he's quick and like a duck. <laughs> It was really good. It was yeah. uh, informative. It's funny because like, you know, everybody stresses about their kids and, but like James has been developing this whole time and has mm -hmm. developed a lot in the last two weeks. But it's funny. We actually like, cause I'm a very analytical person. Mm -hmm. And so like people have opinions, even doctors have various opinions, but like this doctor who works at a very well respected like clinical, clinical mm -hmm. Northwestern Memorial Hospital, like institution. Um, like was like well it's like usually in anything in, in medicine if you're like for kids especially if you're thirty percent below like the normal bar like that's when you're considered delayed and he's like twenty yeah. percent below so she's like you could you could not you could right. wait that's why like our, which makes sense of why our pediatrician this entire time um, since he's been one has like never been concerned about his speech right and so what well, I mean I think we've learned this from like going through infertility is like advocating for yourself and asking and talking to different people and so it's just nice to like get to this point where like now I feel like we want to like encourage advocating for yourself and yeah. that like we're like our goal is like to give James like the best tools to be the happiest kid he can be and he's clearly very happy <laughs> and he talks a lot so we'll probably move he's forward. just like sometimes it's just his own babble so we'll probably move good. forward with some form of like looking into some other like speech therapies or at our own pace but mm -hmm. it was nice to hear that like what we're doing at home is really good what we should like like the like she observed us via video chat like what we do how we play with james james mm -hmm. was there playing and she was like no you're doing like all the things that like you really should be and he tech isn't technically delayed wouldn't say that yet um so like you're kind of getting ahead of the game sorry my arm was <laughs> tired but it was a good doctor was great yeah the doctor was great yeah just like i feel feels good and i think we're also going to get a hearing test just to like rule yeah. some other things out they don't so think yeah. but like uh, there's a, hi a history of bad ears in my family mm -hmm. um so i think we're like that with everything like let's just do it to to rule yeah. it out yeah so we're gonna give him everything he needs i know we mentioned that we're doing this but i didn't i don't think we mentioned that i was going in the afternoon um i'm going to see avatar now but first i'm stopping at misericordia we talked about misericordia home of mercy before um to pick up our holiday cards well some of them anyways but i'm excited to see them i've never been in here before i got them let's take a look look at how gorgeous so this is water tower downtown and then this is little nativity scene artwork for this card was created in misericordia's art program where our artists use paint textiles and other media to experience the joy that self-expression brings so this is super super sweet because the artists are people who live here um so so beautiful i'm so happy we have to we have to take our christmas picture tonight i just i've had to let go of the idea that it's the picture is gonna happen at the lit up gazebo we'll still go and take a picture and it just won't be for our christmas card so i do have another plan for a photo um that i'm hoping i'm hoping that we'll be able to do tonight especially with the freshly fallen snow The size of this thing is obnoxious. We're playing with some toys. We have the Mickey like puppet claymation. Well, Teddy snoozes over there on the couch. Shouldn't be too too much longer. Like maybe another 40 minutes, 45 minutes before Sarah comes home. Then we're gonna figure out some dinner plans. Yeah. Wow, I just got out of the movie and uh, I am unwell. <laughs> that movie <laughs> did something to me. Like, so good. Like, I 
I just talked about how I don't like things that I can predict. That movie was unpredictable. It was not what I expected. It was very, very good. But I am wrecked. Like, I am emotionally wrecked right now. I think that's the first time I've seen a film like that as a parent. I'm not, <laughs> not okay after that one. Wow. Comment below if you've seen it and what you, what you thought of it. Anywho. My drive home is so picturesque with like Christmas lights and snow and just like the neighborhood vibes. Like, look at that. Trees, lights. This is just a casual view on my drive home. Like, I know the city life is not for everybody. We can do without the cold and the darkness, but the city life is for us. Notice how I didn't say snow. I love the snow. As I listen to the Soren soundtrack on my way home, like, tell me about a more conflicted person. Why can't Chicago be closer to Walt Disney World? Like, not even the same state, but just like not a 20 hour drive. Not a two and a half hour plane ride. In the car, but now I'm in the back seat because we are going to dinner for Peter's birthday. We almost didn't, yeah. but I mean, we don't have a reservation, or do we? We do, nice, yeah. Look at the brook hearts. Um, Here I forget are. the name of it. La Sud, La Sud. I found this website. This, like, looking down the street, it looks like it's like glistening and snow. Picturesque. There's Christmas lights, it looks like Chicago. Give me a deep dish pizza, give me a hot dog. I'm good until Christmas, and then I hate. The cold and snow. <laughs> well, I found this place because it's decorated for Christmas. So let's go. Get ready. Here's that Christmas Chicago view Peter was talking about. <laughs> so terrified of slipping. I'm so scared. Last time I was like, I'm not gonna slip. I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were like going on the corner. Maybe in my belly. Yeah. And I was wearing a jumpsuit. Oh, I think it's across the street. Oh, sweet, look at that, it looks gorgeous. That's got a, oh, the outdoor patio looks fine. It does smell delectable, look at this. Le Sud, Roscoe Village, Mediterranean Kitchen. Look at that, that looks warm. And then they said it's 68 in there with the heaters. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these decorations. Wow, and all the Santa Clauses. Wow. special so we had to order it because there is a French onion theme. It smells really good. I might even try it. Alright, here we have burrata. So I got a mocktail that's called a Blackberry Bliss. It's got mint in it, blackberries, yeah. busyness. What'd you get? You got a big mojito. Delicious. Everything so far is so good. The tomatoes were like drenched in balsamic vinegar. And James loved the tomatoes, the burrata, the soup. And even Teddy had some of the burrata. Freeze has arrived. Sarah's pork chop. Look at these apples. Oh my gosh. And James's mac and cheese. I'm definitely gonna steal some of that. Because he had like half of the burrata. <laughs> he saw that I have french fries, so he's all 
He's a French fry kid when French fries are present. Yeah. When there's no present, he eats burrata. Hey, yum! The littlest bite. <laughs> Give me that cookie. <laughs> right here. <laughs> How are they? They look good. Good. We got a cappuccino. Yeah. It like, looks like brown sugar cubes almost. Yeah. Mm. Are you doing magic? Fighting the urge. Fighting the urge. Magic. The urge. the urge to what? Steal this little spoon. <laughs> All right, dinner is done. It was absolutely delicious. We got a cappuccino and cookies to end the night. You woke up just in time to go. This is just a few miles away from home, so Ooh, it's a fireplace. <laughs> We've been underneath this thing. And Sarah's sweltering. Bacon, like a toasted cheese. Or... Hopefully, these kids pass out in the car. But we're only a few miles away, so we'll see if it happens. It's like just close enough where it might. It's on Roscoe. Yes. Is this Chicago in the winter time? Or what? It's pretty glorious right now. It's like quiet. Yeah, because we're like we're in Roscoe Village, which is a little bit further west. All is calm. All is bright. <laughs> Mark, our server was amazing. Yeah. Ooh. You like? There's ice again. <laughs> Did Sarah and I just watch like 40 minutes of the Braun family's vlogs here in Chicago? Yes, we did. Tyler travels TV. Tyler Travels TV is the channel Jessica. that it was posted on. Um, she's Jam Beauty. She's Jam Beauty. These are all facts coming from Sarah. But they're good people, and I love seeing people enjoy Chicago because Chicago's the best. Chicago is the best. But I don't think, I mean, like, is this going on however many vlog that, vlogs we're putting together? How many days are we? Just two. Yes, we're just two. Mm -hmm. So we haven't said yet that, like, we got the details behind us getting our lease renewal. No, we haven't. Oh, we got our lease renewal, which, here's the thing. Even if we weren't going forward with our move back to Florida, we weren't going to renew our lease here, even though we love this apartment. It's terribly too small for us. We've outgrown it like crazy. We've got box. We've conceded to the fact that our dining room is just going to become storage. Like, there's bins now underneath the dining table. And... um that's just the reality between us, between now and when we, we move up. So it feels so much more real because this whole time we've been like, yeah, April, 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 our lease is up. Well, we got the notice and one, they go on to increase the rent a lot. Um, but like I said, even if we weren't going to Florida, we were going to have to leave this apartment and go to a different apartment in Chicago if we were staying. But alas, we are going forward with our plan to live in both Florida and Chicago at the same time. Now, there's going to be a transitional piece there. Like, we're going to move to Florida we in we April. We want roofs over our head in both places, but that can't happen. Though. Yeah, we want roofs over... I don't know if you could hear Sarah. She said, we want roofs over our head in both places, but that can't happen at the same time. So it'll, it'll take a little time. So we're going to do Florida first. We're going to still spend, like a good chunk, almost half the year in Chicago once we move back to Florida because we'll just stay with the Sicards. And so we have, we have all these like months chunks. So like we'll be here for a month at a time basically in Chicago for different spots of the year. Um, but yes, we have an official vacate date and it's March 25th. So that's nuts. That's nuts like Sarah just said. The holidays are quickly approaching into Dopey, into our cruise. And basically after that, we need to like get our ducks in a row of moving our family of five across the country. Cause it's a again. way, again, cause it's, we have a lot of stuff. We not only have a baby and a dog, now we've got two babies and a dog. And we have to figure out the logistics of that, find a place to live because we can't really go into an apartment down in Florida. We're gonna try to go into a town home or a house rental. Um, so yeah, I know, I don't I don't think we didn't mean to like dangle that. I, I think we mentioned it in the vlog before, the one that's posting, the two-parter that we're posting tomorrow, that we got that information. So we didn't mean to dangle it over. It's just been a crazy week. Um, and us getting back onto the, the daily posting regiment. But yes, that is the thing. If We actually haven't told our lease department. So if they watch our vlog, which I don't think they do, 
hey, the Brookharts are moving out in March. So we have to let them know that we're not renewing. Um, but yes, the Brookharts are becoming dual citizens. Yeah, dual citizens. I think it would be funny if like one of us had a Florida ID and one of us had an Illinois ID. That would be so funny. <laughs> it would be so funny because we actually do. Because I still have my Florida ID and Sarah has an Illinois ID. But what I mean is like once we have a permanent address in Florida and once we have another secondary address here in Chicago, if, if we had that, I think what we're going to do is like one would be a license, one would be an ID. Anyway, Sarah's ridiculous, but she's the best. It's good to be home. Um, I wanted you to see this sweet puppy. She's very tired from a day playing with these little kids. Excuse me. Go to sleep, Evie. Go to sleep. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.